Welcome to PET 605, example 2, first pressure. Shown in the picture is a tubular that fails because of high internal pressure. We note that it fails along a line that is parallel to the pipe axis. The pipe has failed because of high tangential stress in tension. The failure line is perpendicular to the tangential stress. Depicted is a production casing suspended by the drilling rig. On the drawing, it is shown as a vertical well, but in reality, the well is deviated and the angle of the well from the vertical is 70 degrees at the bottom. The density of steel is 65.5 pounds per gallon and the mud weight is 12 pounds per gallon. The corresponding buoyancy factor is 0.817. In this example, you are asked to perform the following tasks for the production casing. 1. Calculate the hanging weight at the surface ahead of cementing, and 2. Calculate the maximum pressure differential on the casing, corresponding to 80% of yield at the surface for the hanging weight. In a typical oil or gas well, the force it takes to pull a tubular is greater than the force it takes to lower it. The reason for this difference is the axial friction between the tubular and its surroundings. If there is no downhole friction, the weight seen at the surface will be between the pickup weight and the slack off weight. The projected height concept states that the axial force in the well tubular without downhole friction depends upon the vertical depth and that the measured depth does not matter. In a frictionless environment, a casing that is 9,625 feet hanging in a vertical well will weigh the same as a 14,000 foot long casing with its bottom at 9,625 feet true vertical depth. The hanging weight in a frictionless environment is 420,600 pounds. This is the casing weight suspended at the surface if there is no well friction. If the rig pulls the casing, the weight will exceed this value. If the rig lowers the casing, the surface weight will be less than this value. The reason for this is that the downhole friction force always has a direction opposite to the direction of movement. At the surface, the effective force is the same as the hanging weight since the inside and outside pressures are zero. Without bending stress, we know that the maximum von Mises stress will occur at the inside wall of the casing. In the first equation, we state that the yield circle is 80% of the yield value, and this corresponds to a design factor of 1.25. In the equation shown below, we solve for the pressure drop corresponding to 80% of yield and get 7,870 psi. We notice that the calculated pressure differential is expressed as PI minus PO. Since all terms are raised to the second power, the pressure differential could also have been expressed as PO minus PI. In the circle solution, there is full symmetry in regards to pressure differential, and this is an important feature of the model. As seen from the figure for the ellipse, we note that the inside pressure, PI, appears on both coordinate axes for the zero axial stress datum. This fact complicates the tubular design and is an artifact of not choosing a practical stress datum. For the circle, there is no pressure term on the x-axis. Instead, the inside and outside pressures appear only once as a pressure differential on the y-axis. This is convenient since we only need to be concerned about the pressure differential without regards to absolute pressures when using the neutral axial stress datum. It is important to point out that the results in terms of yield calculated from the two models are identical. By observing the ellipse, it is easy to see that the tubular is strong in the top right quadrant and in the bottom left quadrant. This is not so evident considering a circle, and an explanation of this apparent discrepancy is found by looking at the expression 
for the neutral axial stress given by the excess axial stress above its neutral value given by Lubinsky. The term AI times PI minus AO times PO included as the x-axis in the circle model takes care of the dependency between the axial load and pressure limitations. In terms of collapse, it does indeed matter which axial stress datum is used. Lubinsky compared the ellipsy model and the circle model with experimental collapse data. It was concluded that the circle model agrees better with the collapse experiments than the ellipsy model.